Martin is a true Renaissance man. As an actor, writer, musician, or comedian, he's a master of performance. Oh, no, I'm getting happy feet! Whoa! His movies were hits. Ruprecht. May I take your trident, sir? Yes. His banjo playing became famous, too. He's written books, articles for The New Yorker, headed up a Broadway play with Edie Brickell, even won a Grammy with her. Oh, no. But now he's trying something really wild and crazy. He wants more respect for a Canadian painter. Lauren Harris was himself perhaps one of the most unpredictable members. We know Lauren Harris. Canadian kids are taught they pretty much have to love all the members of the group of seven. The painting is going to mean anything. It means total concentration on the painting. Steve Martin thinks Lauren Harris is a genius and wants the world to see his work. He's already curated shows in LA and Boston. Now he's bringing the paintings home again. Hi, everyone. Martin is curating a brand new exhibit at the AGO in Toronto called The Idea of North, the paintings of Lauren Harris. We got a sneak peek while Martin was in town putting the final touches on the installation. But there was one big condition for getting the interview. We could only ask questions about Lauren Harris. No joking around. Seriously. So what do you think? Is your big oh, shot? I've, I've, I've been in love with it ever since we started. And, and now it seems so appropriate that it's back home here in Canada and, and Toronto. And it just looks great. This one? Yes. You uh, put that there specially, why? Well, this is, this was always, in my view, uh, before this started, as a national symbol of Canada, of, of Lauren Harris. It really represented, it's, it's the iconic image of, of Lauren Harris. But so what, what like you, you sort of discovered Lauren Harris. Like I, I thought I'd discovered him. Then I realized uh, Canada knows all about him. <laughs> so I thought he was a little a, foolish. An unknown artist. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was unknown. <laughs> and because uh, I was in America, just kind of peering into Canada and Canada's heart. But I, I, I loved him from the first time I, I saw them. And so did you like start collecting, thinking this would be a score, and then realized, oh, actually. It, well, I, I, I was watching one at auction, and I thought, uh, Oh, they're, they're going to a nice one. I'll just watch it and see what it goes for. I went for two and a half million dollars, <laughs> and that was 20 years ago. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'm behind the eight ball here huh. and the curve. You've never been a curator before? Uh, for anyone? Only, only in our own house. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the subject matter of icebergs, and uh, I just like the feeling of the, the north. Have uh, you ever been to our north uh, or the Arctic? I went to the Yukon to do a movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, as I would helicopter to the location and would fly through these mountains, I thought, this is Lauren Harris. This is a, uh, oftentimes, you know, a painter will paint a landscape and you think, that's not really what it looks like. And then when you actually go see the landscape, you go, oh, I see, he actually did paint it exactly like it is. It's funny, you know, because growing up, Canadians were taught group of seven, group of seven, group of seven. Mm -hmm. And we kind of go, yeah, all right, all right, all right, already. So mm -hmm. we probably don't look at this with the same Well, I'm hoping that the show eyes. can revive that, you know, yeah. spirit. You know, I've, I've discovered that, you know, if you have a painting in your house and you had it in the same spot for 10 years and suddenly you move it, it's an entirely new painting. So these pictures have been moved around now. Well, it's kind of a very Canadian thing to not sort of appreciate we don't like people getting too big for their boots, you know? Oh, well, I don't know about that, but I think you have a, a great, uh, you also have a great contemporary art scene here too, and you have great modernist painters. Hmm. I mean, meaning abstract painters from the 50s and 60s, and they're now hung at the AGO in a really nice new hanging. So you took this really seriously. You traveled, you put the whole show together, like a real Well, yes, you, you have to see the paintings, and the only way to see the paintings is go there, because they're not gonna send them to you. So we traveled around, went to Vancouver and Saskatchewan and London and Hamilton and Toronto and Montreal. So this one, mm -hmm. you, you went to Saskatoon? Yes, I did. I, I had seen Harris's, but not intimately. Where was it? 
It was downstairs in the basement. But they had another show up. Oh, so okay. they had another show that's some story. It's that Canadian And they brought thing. this out. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Wow. I thought, wow, this is exactly the power of Lauren Harris. This is what I'm looking for. And I said, we must have this painting. So this is it's the called Rockies. Mountains Near Jasper. But it's obviously a made-up image. I don't think this, there's no mountain range that looks like that. He's, he's now kind of painting, like you say, the idea of north and the idea of mountains. So you went down to the basement and this was? Yeah. It was and Martin Short was with you? Yes, he was. Is yeah. he a Lauren Harris fan? Yes, he is. He has to be, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. He, oh. he likes Canadian art a lot. You wrote in the book that goes with the exhibition about how there's a, a big difference between American and, and Canadian art that, that Lauren Harris focuses on themes like isolation, but that mm -hmm. it doesn't feel No, it doesn't feel uh, lonely or depressing. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. feels exalting. So what uh, is that? Uh, do well, that? that's just the gift of the painter. In America, we have a great painter named Edward Hopper who deals with isolation, and his pictures are very desolate, and you feel a little depressed or moody, or that you get that part of you touched. Here, and in a lot of these pictures, you feel an exaltation of nature, an exaltation of the human spirit in, in communion with nature. And yet there's never, I mean, you look at all of them, all of these, it's, there's no, there's no people, there's no, there's right. no grass. It's well, just... he painted people early on. You see couples strolling, you see daily life a bit, and then something happened in, in the 20s, and he took, I mean, to me, you, you barely see a living thing at all. Yeah. I mean, even the trees are dead. If you look at the picture back here, North Shore Lake Superior, it's a dead tree. Yet the sunlight is coming in from behind. It's like a, a, a resurrection of life, even though everything is not living. There's nothing living, but you still feel a spirit arising. Yeah, I like this one. I like the purples. It's a I don't, yeah, I don't it's know a, why. Also, you know, when you look at a picture like this, the Pick Island pictures uh, often do that. They're, they just they just feel so relaxing and serene. So do you do you think that Americans Canadians always ask this? Do, do you like us now? Do Americans do they like <laughs> Lauren Harris? The shows in America were tremendous successes. Really, a lot of attendance, a lot of comments, a lot of press, and um, you know the impact of a show, an art show is not really known. You get an immediate awareness of what, how it went over, but sometimes the impact is felt five or 10 years later when someone recalls, an, a young artist recalls what Lauren Harris was doing and it influences him or her in a certain way. It's like a, a, doing a movie. I, I know if it's a hit immediately, but sometimes it's 10 years later if you know it was really a hit, if it's still around. And that's what I think will happen with Lauren Harris. So I just, I guess, wonder why you got inspired to do this. Like, we know you as a musician, mm -hmm. an author, maybe? Certainly well, I've Canadian. been involved in the art world and art ever since I was 20. I've had many varieties of interests in the art world, and this seemed appropriate for the time and place. That's all I could say. It was, it was the, he was the right artist for me to, to do it with because um, I felt like one of the few people in America, including art world people who really was aware of the power of, of Lauren Harris. It just felt exactly right. I wouldn't do it again for another artist because they don't need me for that. But I felt like here's, here's a full-blown artist ready to go and America's never heard of him. So how did he go over in uh, Los Angeles? Fantastic. Really? Oh, it's just people were knocked out a and in Boston too, huh. you know, big crowds and so it took an American celebrity well, to make people pay attention. Uh, to me, it took Lauren Harris. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. I've so enjoyed meeting you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank Appreciate you. it.